All right, guys, so hey, thanks for coming back to Seriously Fast Media. That was my biggest video ever so far on uh, YouTube, and I really appreciate you guys on the viewership. Last I checked, just under 6,000 views when talking about the disqualifications. So I want to go into a few more details here, uh, give you guys the exact details on what happened. Obviously, the exact details were not up to date last night. So just a couple hours ago, Joe Gibbs Racing did not appeal the penalties. They did not go out and appeal. And with that being said, so Scott Miller from NASCAR stated both cars had an extra layer of vinyl on the lower front fascia where the nose attaches to the splitter underneath the wrap. For those of you guys who don't know what a fascia is, that is essentially the front nose of the race car uh, or the rear fascia would be the rear bumper the whole rear cover of the race car or your family car um, lower fascia is the bottom of the car part of the car's nose which attaches to the splitter um, so nascar stated that the lower fascias of the cars were the culprit of the issue not big pieces not big pieces at all uh, Wally Brown, the director of competition for Joe Gibbs Racing, said that a, in a statement Monday afternoon that a single piece of clear tape was positioned over each of the lower corners of the front fascia uh, on both the 18 and the 11 race cars ahead of the left and right front wheel openings on both of the cars. The pieces were two inches wide and five and a half inches long with a thickness of point. 0.012 inches and they were put under the wrap which is exactly how they missed it on the pre-race inspections um, Brown went on to say that this change in our build process was not properly vetted within our organization and we recognize it's against NASCAR's rules we apologize to everyone for the mistake and we have made changes to our process to ensure that it does not happen again they did confirm that it can directly affect the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Now, a piece of tape that small doesn't sound very big, but when all of these cars and NASCAR came out and said that all of these cars have to be so precise and so equal, even something as minuscule as 0.012 inches can make a pretty big difference. Uh, now, do I think that it overall would have directly affected the race? You know, if they would have come off of there, whatever it may have been, obviously I don't know, but I do believe it can make a pretty big difference. Aerodynamics is excruciatingly important in something as simple as a Prius that you would see driving up and down the street. So on a race car where you're going 200 miles an hour, absolutely it's gonna make a difference. Thanks for watching guys, quick video, just wanted to get that updates out there. Um, actually, before I go, just a little Chase Elliott information. Chase Elliott obviously inherited the win, uh, as Kyle Busch would say, backed into the win. But Chase Elliott did not know that he won the race until he got home. Uh, he was on the plane when he was declared the winner. Uh, when interviewed by Bob Pockers, he said, when he was asked, are you going to celebrate or are you going to wait until after the appeals process? Uh, he said, it's not something I'm necessarily proud of. Um, or something I'm going to boast about. He didn't feel he won the race, which technically he didn't win the race. Legally, he did, obviously. Um, also, on that interview with Bob Pockers, he said, uh, when concerning the trophy, I'm not going to ask for it. He was very cool and candid. He, he was not uh, gung-ho. He wasn't excited. He had no, zero visual emotion during majority of that interview. So you could tell he just wasn't too proud of himself on that third-place finish. He thought maybe he should have won that race uh, he was disappointed with that third. He was. He says maybe he shouldn't have even got third, but they did end up getting it. Um, he, when he asked him he, about the trophy, he also said if he wants to keep it, he can keep it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.